Now past winter sales have been very, very strong. Reason being is that most people are waiting for spring to put their homes on the market. It leaves the buyers very, very little choice on homes to buy. We've taken advantage of that in the past, uh, taken a number of homes to auction in that August timeframe and found it to be very, very successful timing. Uh, great decisions for our owners who are looking for a winter sale and perhaps jumping the queue before spring. We have much more control over, over the environment. We don't need to worry about what's happening in the street in terms of neighbours and parking and all those sort of things and the amount of agents that we have on hand to be able to help with bidders and all those sort of things. It's an amazing environment, very vibrant and, and a fantastic way to sell a property in the ACT. Um, I think the, um, the general excitement of the room is always very positive and I think the defined time frame that an option brings is also attractive to families who are trying to sort of ease their, their move. We see an increased buyer activity, increased online activity, which overall means more bidders in the room, more competition and hopefully better prices for our vendors. energy in the room but they can also expect to get some knowledge in the marketplace if they buy a property fantastic but if they miss out at least they're getting an understanding about some bidding strategies or even what's happening in the local area. Oh, some great properties, uh, good auctioneers um, and plenty of buyers. So if a property is passed in tonight, we obviously go back and either firstly talk to the highest bidders and see whether or not we can actually negotiate um, from there, or go back and talk to the parties that have been through the properties um, and potentially weren't able to come along and bid tonight because they had conditional interest in it. Yeah, if the property passes in, obviously a bit disappointing, but we just moved to phase, to phase two of the campaign, which is obviously putting the home on the market for a price um, and then trying to engage with the buyers that either couldn't get their finance or uh, just hadn't seen the property online as of yet.